Rand Beer did so well on that song. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid rags with Dude. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juice content. It's some so juicy. Forgot, oh, he was, no. forgot he was in that song. He's just. Standing there sitting looking, on, sitting and watching. Well, you wish you could do. Uh, today we are reacting to, read this. Valhapi Ganapatim Vina Instrumental. Cool. Electric Vina. Rajesh Vadya. In Indian classical music, sometimes when a trainee is nearly there, not yet 100% ready, he or, show, he or she still may... He or she is still made to perform in a concert along with maestros who subtly are guiding them. This is called the flooding technique. It's we saw that in the disciple, probably, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. It's generally used for overcoming conditions like performance anxiety, etc. Here's such a case where a young boy performs with three absolute stalwarts of Carnatic music in the past you'd react to the performances of all three maestros here. Please bear with the first couple of minutes uh, as Rajesh tunes his veena. That that's cool. I'm, oh, I'm, we saw him. Yeah, in that we video saw him the, just the other day. Yeah, Ramon. Yeah, uh, his. I think it was a cover of uh, Bombay, right? That's what it was. Right? Yeah, it was from Bombay. Um, he was. He's phenomenal. And I'm, I thank you for the pre-apology, but the, watching someone tune their instrument, I can. Like uh, it's it's watching them. That's cool. <laughs> Your mom never reminded watching me tune my instrument. Ooh. <laughs> now onto this somber. Beautiful. <laughs> That's tuning. So I think he has something down there helping tune it, but how how is it being tuned? Like I don't see any pegs or anything to alter the tension of the strings. Yeah, but he hasn't touched any one of them. Oh. So it's like... Maybe he doesn't need it and this is just how he checks. So this young boy is the one he's mentoring, I'm guessing? Yeah, he's the one getting flooded. <laughs> Thank you. 
boy, he's killing me. Stop smiling for one minute throughout no, the whole video. They're all so good, and uh, and that kid was rocking it, man. Rocking. He it. was. This guy reminded me of. He almost has like a punk guy's trippy face. Mm. He's a very sweet face. Very sweet face. Yeah. <laughs> it's, sweet. Sorry. He just reminded me. I was like, oh, punk guy was the. I don't know what instrument that's called. Percussionist. That's who he would be. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was fantastic. So good, and I love. It's proper discipleship of, of young people to let them be a part with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I love that it's just called, that it's called flooding because it's not gonna matter. And it's not even gonna matter age-wise. I, I talk age-wise. Like when I was uh, leading worship and I remember the first time I was on the platform leading, you know, so I'm the main guy making all the choices about when we're going to modulate, if we're going to extend something. So I'm, we're all talking to each other, but they're all looking to me. And on the drums is Bill Maxwell, who is a drummer that is a jazz legend with a band called Open Hands. Anybody in the jazz world knows Bill. He may be in the Jazz Hall of Fame. And then on electric guitar to my right is Caleb Quay, who played for Elton John. And, and when Eric Clapton was asked, Who's the best living guitar player you know? Without hesitation, he said, oh, it's Caleb Quay. And then I got Pedro Eostash on the winds over there, who is considered the greatest living woodwind player among many. And they're looking at me. <laughs> Guarantee, that's how that kid was feeling right there. <laughs> and when you're playing with guys like that, that you know, I'm <coughs> never going to be at your level, but they're encouraging you and you're having that silent conversation. And when you make a change, they're nodding. And I remember one time we were done and Bill Maxwell's a pretty quiet guy. He doesn't say much, 
But I remember one time after like three or four times leading, uh, the day was done and he, it was a really great worship set. We were finished and he put down his sticks and he looked over and he went, really good job, Rick. Good job. I was like, Bill Maxwell said, did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> It yeah. stays with you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I don't even know what that's like. I don't, I don't know how to play any instrument. But it can happen in any Yeah, any you know? form. Yeah. yeah, it's like if you were doing a scene with Tom Hardy, and the scene ended, and he looked at you, and he went, great scene, Corbin. And I'm like, the well, you need to step it up in that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let us know what other uh, <laughs> classical uh, instrument or singing uh, videos. We always enjoy these. So let yeah. us know uh, more Love from him it. or others that we can watch down below. <laughs> Look, <laughs>